What's happening with it? This is Slink Johnson, a.k.a. Black Jesus, your Lord and Savior. And you're listening to the Red Rock Podcast Network. How you love that? You are listening to the Red Rock Podcast Network. Featuring Pod of Thrones and the Shiznit. This is the Red Rock Podcast Network. From Red Rock Studios in Los Angeles, California, this is the Shiznit. Now, put your hands together for the Shiznit. Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Shiznit Show. I am your boy. I am your host, Dino Red, and I have with me, as always, my ride or dies, Miss Dijon Monique. What's up, world? It's your girl. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Pip Lily. Oh, my gosh. I'm having a stroke, I think. Yep. I hear my own voice. Yeah. Dijon has her sound on, <laughs> so there's feedback. Oh, are you on live? Yeah, I don't know. So I'm yep. on cast box. Yeah, you can't you can't have the sound up though. You gotta have the sound down. Okay. All right, there we go. Technology. Technology. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Welcome, 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 cast box uh live chat. Welcome to uh Beat Break Radio eighty seven FM where music and talk radio lives. Welcome to everybody on all the platforms all over the world who are checking us out. Welcome. Hey, Dino. Yes, you know, sir. Technology. Did you hear about that drone downtown with the fireworks on it? Uh, I did not. I did not. When was this? When was this? What Wednesday. Was this? On Wednesday, part of 7th Street was, was shut down. I was going to say, but that was on our block, yep, right? Exactly. I didn't know what it was, but I knew something was going on because we were surrounded. There was, <laughs> there was a drone with fireworks on it. That's what, what was going on. Yeah, on top of a building. Uh, Oh, because so the they were talking about the prom there. squad was out there and everything, wow. but we didn't. Did you say the prom squad? Th- did I? Because <laughs> <laughs> I would love squad. that. <laughs> the bomb squad. We heard that the bomb squad was out there, but we didn't know why. We just assumed that it was because downtown bomb thre- bomb threats are. Mm, I don't want to. I don't want to say they're regular. regular, but it's not like it's not uncommon. Yeah, it's not uncommon. Mm-hmm. Not at all. So imagine. we thought maybe that was what was going on. But, oh, so that's what was going on. Mm -hmm, The building right next to mine. Wow. Wow. Yeah. But did they they find out who or why? I'm sure they're going to find out who. Don't these things have drones have serial numbers and stuff on them where you can trace them? Just about everything does these days. Yeah, I can imagine that it does. But, wow. Why would somebody do that? That's crazy. They probably were trying to, like, do some kind of, you know, firework stunt trick thing, trying to have the drone fly up in the air and then it set off the firework or something or yeah, I don't know, but uh, just trying to go viral, <laughs> do anything for cloud, as they say. Mm. Yeah, man. Oh my god, now they gonna go to county. <laughs> Get all that clout from jail. <laughs> well, I saw something. Uh, I don't know if it tops the the drone firework fiasco, but it was a sight to behold. Well, what What's was that? It? I saw a woman playing grab ass. On the train. (laughs) (laughs) Just as the men would pass by her, she would grab the ass and and laugh hysterically. And there was another lady (laughs) who was who was sitting across from her who wasn't with her, but was like just tripping off of her and was just just cracking up. And I was look, I was sitting next to this 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 younger guy and he just looked appalled. And the whole thing was just like crazy to me. I was just like tripping, like, "Wow, this this lady is on one." Yes, yeah. finally the sexes are equal. <laughs> I know, right? Equality. It, it reminds me of uh, junior high school when we used to play grab ass. It was 
you know, that's, that's what when we used to do it back in a whole another different time when wow. you could do that sort of thing. I and know. it was it was boys and girls. It was you know girls gave as good as they got. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't just a I've grabbed one way ass thing. in my day. So yeah. I can attest to that. My yeah. ass has been the same size since the fifth grade. Do you know how many people have grabbed my humongous? <laughs> <laughs> the same ass I have right now on this middle aged body was on a fifth grader. That's, that's, now, that's a sight. The to teachers know. could pick me up by my ass and that's put me back crazy. in my seat. Okay. Well, we got a full show for you guys today. I'm We're bringing excited. back a segment that we haven't had in a long time, and ooh, we had huge response for the from the uh, question of the week this week. So, Great. hang on, guys. Hang on. Did they chat. make you proud this week? Dino? So, yeah. Oh, my, yes, yes. They got a little carried away. Didn't follow directions, but but you guys. they participated but the, well. They participated well. They played nice, Good. you know, and uh, but they just got so. I, I, you know, I don't I don't love when they spam the thread, but I understand if it's a, a topic that's just so engaging to them and they can't resist, so I kinda get it. You know, I'd rather for them to kind of overdo it than to like just be like, I ain't checking with for them. I right. You know, be enthusiastic than right. to be blase. Right. Okay. So that's what we had going on this right. week. So I we like had it. a lot of them. A lot, a lot of them. So most of the repeats didn't make it in because it was just way too many. But anyway. All right. Uh so with that, let's go ahead and uh, get into these topics. Let's, let's do started. it. News and noteworthy. The shiznit. Okay, is that coming in loud for everybody or just me? No, it's loud. It's loud. Okay, it's my loud. headset's loud, a little loud. Okay, oh, that's cool. All righty then. So you guys have well, the, some people are calling this a challenge. I don't know that it was a challenge, but the the uh, the face app. Everybody's seen the face app that's been burning up Facebook uh, and Instagram the last yes. week that's with all the 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 it's the it's the program that allows you to age yourself or or it, actually you can make yourself younger as well. But everybody has kind of chosen to do the old version of themselves and posting it all over the place, and which blows my mind, but. Whatever. I love, uh, you know, I, I do like the pictures. It is, cause it is remarkable that it, it looks like a real person, like how you would actually yeah. age. It's very yeah, fun. It I is. think it's very fun. I think it's, you know, it w- what's weird to me about it is like you got the, the it seems like the, the segment of the population is kind of divided into two people. You got the, t- the for the most part, you got the people who kind of hop on every little trend or thing that's going on or whatever. And then you got the other half that gets annoyed by everybody that's hopping <laughs> right. on the right. train, whatever. And then there's a few people like me in the middle that just kind of like, ah, it's just a fun thing. Who cares? I don't really care. It's like, you know, sometimes I participate, sometimes I don't. Uh, I was actually intending on getting on board with this whole face app thing. This, this seemed kind of fun. And it was different than the, the typical challenges. You know, I didn't have to sing or dance or do anything like that. Eat, eat cinnamon. <laughs> you know, I didn't have to do anything to risk my health. Right. So, eat a Tide Pod. You know, no Tide Pods, nothing Pop like that. Or, while it's moving. And yeah, stuff like that. you know, no Kikis. And I didn't have to get dumped with a, 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 a ice, bucket. ice bucket or or a boiling bucket of water or anything like that. Get so glittered. I was like, oh my God. yeah, I was like, I can get with this one. Oh and just goodness. when I was about to get on board with it, then the DNC came out uh-huh. talking about the Russians own that app and they're hoarding your information and you got to sign away all your rights. And, well, we have a video. I'm going to go ahead and play the video and you can hear firsthand what exactly is going on with this uh, Russian face app. Is the face aging app just good viral fun or are you sending your photo to the Russian government? Face app uses artificial intelligence to make photos of people look older or younger. But soon after it shot to the top of the app charts, privacy advocates began issuing warnings. I looked under the hood of the app and reached out to its CEO. Here are five things you should know that aren't very clear in the app store or in Face app's privacy policy. Number one, what data do they take? Face app CEO told me the app does upload your photos and process them in the cloud. The app has access to your whole camera roll, but it only uploads the one image you've selected, they say. 
you also don't have to give FaceApp your name or email. Number two, how long do they hold on to your data? The app's terms of service grant it a perpetual license to whatever you upload. But FaceApp says it deletes most photos from its servers after 48 hours. I'm not sure what most means. Okay, number three, what are they doing with your data? The app's terms give it the right to do whatever it wants through its irrevocable, non-exclusive, royalty-free, worldwide, fully paid, transferable, sub-licensable license. Got that? It's theirs, only theirs, for free, anywhere, and forever. But FaceApp CEO tells me they're not using maps of our faces for facial identification or other purposes not related to the main creative purpose of the app. Number four, who has access to our data? FaceApp CEO says no, the Russian government does not get access to your photos. Unless you already live in Russia, the data is never transferred there. Number five, how can you delete your data? No, just removing the app from your phone won't remove what FaceApp has stored in the cloud. You can ask FaceApp to delete what they've got stored, but it's a convoluted process. For now, you've got to dig through the settings menu and report a bug with the word privacy in the subject line. Whether it's for FaceApp or any app, these are five questions you should ask about any service you're going to trust with something as valuable as your face. So this is the thing. You guys may not necessarily feel like you need to go and delete the app immediately. And you may feel like you should. It just it's about knowing, mm-hmm. you know, what what you're doing and what you're involved in and who you're giving permission to and whatnot. So basically if you do sign up for this app or download this app and you know, agree to the waiver and all that kind of stuff like we normally do without reading them, mm-hmm. you know. Just know that you're allowing them to take your image and to keep it and use it basically forever. Mm -hmm. All the rights, you know, (laughs) signed away. They can do whatever they want to with it. If you're fine with that, some people may be. Then, you know, have fun with your app. If not, kick back and wait. I'm sure somebody will come out with a version that doesn't, you know, require you to sign your whole life away in one photo. In your firstborn. Well, they also have access to your entire camera roll. That's true. They do. Mm -hmm. They say they only... They mm-hmm. say they only have the one that you upload, but mm-hmm. they have access to your whole camera yep. roll. So they say they didn't give black people gonorrhea. Right. <laughs> they say a lot was of it things. syphilis or syphilis? syphilis. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. He even the man said himself he doesn't know what most <laughs> means. What so, but there's always mean? there's always that risk with any app. Yeah. And I think just because the last election, because the Russians being involved in it, that has everybody a little creeped out. Exactly. About it. Especially yeah. the DNC, and that's where they're telling their employees like okay, we're not trying to give them any kind of foothold. So y'all just ease back on that app. Delete the app. If you work for us, you got to delete the app. I'm sure there's other actual evil apps that's out there that we all, like Candy Crush could bring down all of America. (laughs) (laughs) I wouldn't doubt it, Pip. I would not doubt it. Oh, my God, Candy Crush (laughs) is definitely evil. I just sent my mom like twenty five dollars Google Play so she can get her Candy Crush on. I promise you guys, she's doing the free. She's doing paying the, on the on the app. Let me tell you, it's real. Uh, <laughs> it's real out I've here. I've probably candy crush. unfriended five hundred people on Facebook because, because of Candy of Crush. Candy spam, right? Because <laughs> of the spam, she don't care. <laughs> she don't care. I need free lives. Exactly. That's what she says to me too. No, but if you sign up. Then I get a hundred candy dollars. I'm not signing up just so you can keep playing the game. So another challenge that's in the in the news and media and everything right now, which is actually more of a challenge, is the cucumber challenge. Have you guys heard of that? Oh my god! I've, I've, I I've wish done I some cucumber not. challenges. <laughs> <laughs> well. He's like, not only uh, I'm a member, I'm the president. <laughs> I've actually never heard of the cucumber challenge, actually. I hope it's what I think it is. Right. It is. It is. It is. It is. I thought it was called sucking dick, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, when you actually doing that, that's what it is. But, yeah, when you're simulating it. Yeah. It, it, and you know what's funny to me is with the cu- with the cucumber challenge, to me it seems like the 